Um, and we are doing Yee Tea right now. First, we got a shout out to our guy, Country Wayne. He has a new book, Help Is On The Way. Okay. And he t- uh, listen, I already read part of it. Mm-hmm. So shout out to him. He's, he kind of talks about how he got into comedy, what things were like for him growing up in Georgia. Yeah. Um, he talks about his family life, his mom, his dad, how that played a role in him becoming a comedian. Uh, here's what he had to say about his mom. You talk about your mom in this memoir, and you say that was really tough to do. Oh, yeah, it was, because you, you're bringing up those things that you got over and it's in the past, so you have to repeal those wounds. But um, I tell everybody, forgive your parents, because we headed to the grave anyway one day. Mm. So mm. you don't got time to sit here and worry about what your parents did. Keep it moving. Mm. I like that advice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel them on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard to express, like, man, they did this to me when I was younger, you know? Yeah. And I feel like, though, as you can see, Country Wayne tries to be a really good dad to all his kids. He has 10 kids. 10 a, lot, kids. a lot of kids. Right. But all you can do, I think, um, when you have past things is, you know, try to make sure you don't repeat those mistakes. Yep, for sure. Right. Mm-hmm. As you guys are both parents. Yep. Yeah. As, as a parent, you want, you know, you want the best for your kids. You know. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's talk about Don Lemon being let go from CNN. He okay. had said that he did not know he was about to be terminated. He right. tweeted that out, mm-hmm. and he said he would have thought that someone in management would have the decency to tell me directly after having worked there for 17 mm-hmm. years. Well, what people are saying is that this interview with a 2024 presidential candidate, Republican candidate, Vivek Ramaswamy, uh, is what led to the firing. There were other things that happened, but they said after this, this was, I guess, kind of the last straw, according to reports. And here is part of what happened. Black people secured their freedoms after the Civil War. It is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. Only after their Second Amendment Black rights were secured. They That's were a fact. not secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not, you're, you are discounting Reconstruction. You're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War. Post and you know how they the got it? War, they got their Second Amendment rights, and they actually got, the NRA played a big role in that. But today, down the line. The NRA did the, not play a big absolutely role in they that. Trained that black Americans how to use firearms. That's a lie. But, all right, it was a very heated exchange. Yeah. That did not really cool down, right? There's more um, of this argument with Vivek Ramaswamy. The part that I find insulting fact. is when you say today black Americans don't have those rights after we have the gone through the civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the, the, the way I live, the skin I live in every day. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man, but me regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're That's sitting what I think here, we whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me. Whatever ethnicity I am, I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American, I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this on debate. On the content should, of the ideas. If you do it, you should do it in an honest way. Ooh. Things get heated when you talk about race and politics. This is. I think that's why people like watching Don Lemon, because he gets feisty on air with his well, guests. Well, according to Variety, they said that Don Lemon's history of misogyny at CNN started long before he said 51-year-old Nikki Haley isn't a viable presidential candidate because she isn't in her prime. And he also was upset that Soledad O'Brien got the gig of hosting CNN's Black in America docuseries. According to Variety, he suggested O'Brien isn't black on an editorial call, attended by <laughs> roughly 30 staffers, according to two witnesses. And Soledad O'Brien, who wasn't present, told Variety, Don has, had, has long had a habit of saying idiotic and inaccurate things so it sounds pretty on brand for him hmm. wow on, she's on brand but i don't agree with the other guy what he was saying the, I think uh, he, was, he was off uh, right the vivek vivek yeah. ramaswamy right you know. okay yeah and and i i guess you know they were and he wasn't the only person there everybody else was like all right you yeah know, you see how his, very you see how his co-host kind of just be, was being quiet all right they said when don lemon's live from co-anchor kyra phillips was on assignment in iraq which was something he wanted to do he vented his disappointment by tearing up pictures and notes on top of and inside phillips desk in the news pod that they shared and one night after she returned from iraq she received the first of two threatening texts from an unknown number that warned now you've crossed the line and you're going to pay for it what? those texts were traced back to don lemon according what? to sources he also mocked nancy grace on air by mimicking her a person close to grace said she thinks he's an ass and that he was always rude dismissive and really unfamiliar with news content being discussed oh well, he was on time man. little petty boots maybe yeah so wow. it looks like there was a history of things and that was just the last jar okay. all right well that is your yeeti and when we come back new mano we're going to talk Mano. about working out because you have this fitlet thing yeah. happening and so do jasmine and i yep all right so, so y'all say it's way up with the angela yee 